All right, guys. This is gonna be game number six of our Bronze to Masters series. Uh, I am Nathanius, and well, we are gonna have a TVT here. We are currently in Gold League now in game number six. Our opponent is a Platinum League Terran. His username is Red Farfura. So. We should have a good match here. TVT and Heart of the Swarm has become a bit interesting to deal with. So uh, I'm really, really looking forward to um, seeing how how the lower league players deal with this matchup. Personally, I still think that in the lower levels, it's totally possible to go for barracks-based openings um, without gas. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to try to keep this as simple as possible. So, what we're going to do this game is going to be a one barracks fast expand. We're going to pick things a little bit more safely, though. Um, scouting is going to be very, very important in terms of making sure that our opponent doesn't go for anything terribly um, aggressive or really, really strong to try to throw us off at the beginning of the game. Anything like mine drops, hellbat drops, um, or even fast siege tank pushes. So, SCV is going to wait, and basically what we're going to do is go into a bio play. And just try to win with good macro. And in TVT, most importantly, going to be map control. So now that we've hit 13 supply, it's very important that we scout what our opponent is going to do. So I have my SCV rallied over to his base. And I basically just want to know if he's opening with gas. I want to know if he's going for a fast expand, if he's doing what I'm doing, or if he's doing some kind of cheese all-in. So SCV heading across the map now. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's about it so far. I'm not going to be doing anything until this barracks finishes. Um, I'm going to be building my orbital command at 15 supply, getting a marine out, and then going for my command center, uh, possibly on the low ground. I'm going to check the tower, see if there's anything here. Nope. So now we are just waiting for the barracks to complete. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's about it so far. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed so far the Bronze to uh, Masters tutorial series. He is going for a fast second barracks. He's taking a gas. So this could be a two barracks uh, Reaper play. This could be a, a really, really aggressive build coming out of my enemy. So I think the best way to handle this is going to be a pill with just a couple of bunkers. It's not too difficult to defend against uh, Reaper play when you're going for bio play, um, at least in the lower leagues. So we are not yet doing uh, any really advanced builds. So I'm going to try to keep this as simple as I can. Second supply depot to finish off the wall. Um, his gas seems late enough that if he wants to go for any kind of reaper pressure, it's going to be a bit late. So ways that I can handle that are I can actually get my barracks before I get my bunkers up. This way I can uh, get my production really, really rolling. So second barracks is going to start now. And uh, yeah, I'm just waiting at the moment. I guess you send this SCV back because SV building this depot can get my next uh, barracks. So just continuing, and things are important. Even though I want to get a third barracks, I'm never ever willing to cut SCVs to get that barracks up. So I always want to make sure I have SCVs building. So I didn't delay the barracks uh, too much, but I was able to make sure I had my economy going. So the next thing we're going to do is get our gas together. Make sure SCV is building. And as a lower level player, I want you to do something. Just every time, you know, it gets a bit easier as you move up in your APM and your league. But every time you want to build something, always look at your command center and think, okay, now I'm building an SCV, do that, then build it. It's like, okay, I want to build a barracks. Am I building an SCV? I want to take my gas, but am I building an SCV? Um, you know, I want to ask my girlfriend not to prom, but am I building an SCV? Like things that are really, really important to you. Um, always make sure you're building an SCV before you do them. It can also prevent you from making really bad decisions, like asking out the wrong girl. Um, but, yeah. So, Marines are positioned to defend against any kind of Reaper play. I'm going to move some of these onto the high ground now, since I do have this bunker completing very, very soon. Um, and basically, the bunker's sole pro purpose is to ward them off. Uh, the Reapers with the regeneration health can be quite a bit of a pain to deal with. So, we're actually going to open up Combat Shield, since it finishes a lot faster than Stim, and it gives the extra hit points if I do have to fight against Reapers. So... Um, we are approaching that 30, we are at 34 supply, so a supply depot is going to be necessary. And, well, yeah, just constant marine production, constant worker production. I want to start combat shields, but I need to make sure I'm building SCVs first. So, uh, I delay that a little bit. I want to build a marine. Do I have an SCV? SCV. SCV? SCV. So, super, super important. Um, at this point, my opponent hasn't brought any pressure forward. So, things that he could be doing, going for fast uh, airplay. My SCV hasn't spotted anything move across the center of the map. But he did open with two barracks. So, I have to be a little bit cautious as to build uh, possibilities. So, I'm going to move a couple of my Marines around, make sure that he doesn't have anything hiding around my base. And I'm going to get my factory together. So, SCV does get killed. He has a couple of Marines as a reactor. So, it looks like he wants to go for a really, really powerful... Um, 
possibly uh, two, two, three racks, stim timing, uh, some sort of all in. So now that I have my defenses set up though, I'm gonna get some reactors so I can get more marine production. Gonna take another gas geyser and I wanna spread supply depots around my base. Now, if you guys ever wondered why pro players or um, really anyone puts supply depots in random spots, it's basically to give vision. If he goes into any area of my base right now, I can see that. I have marines covering all angles, um, all fronts really of my base. And now just in case he has banshees or anything, um, which we could possibly see in any normal game scenario. We are going to set up the, the <clears throat> missile turrets basically everywhere um, to cover the mineral lines and make sure that he doesn't get in any free SCV kills. Now, factory is complete, so let's get that starport and that reactor. Um, he has poked for with a couple of marines. He could be looking to get aggressive, so uh, based on what I scouted and knowing that he's on one base, I'm going to get some SCVs here prepared to defend, uh, and he does have a lot of marines here outside of my natural expansion, but... I'm not super worried about it. I'm going to start my stim. I think his stim is done based on the opener that he did. So I'm only a little bit worried though. Mostly because my defenses are pretty sound. I don't think he'd be able to break me if he pushed in with stim. Um, but I'm going to move even a couple more SCVs over here. So now he's trying to step in. He's trying to fight me off. Um, but I can pull SCVs repair. And he just doesn't have enough. So he's going to be shoved back. He can't break me. Um, and that's, yeah, that's that's about it so far. So I'm looking pretty solid. My starport is done. I can begin siege tank production in TVT. When you're going for bio-based styles, um, I believe that the Widow Mine is not quite so good due to how easy it is for scans to pick them off. Um, so you're going to see me go for a marine tank setup. So tanks are still pretty good in Terran versus Terran, largely due to the splash damage versus the marines. The fact that they do outrange the Widow Mines if your opponent attempts to move them close to your army like in a TVZ. And um, of course, they the positioning uh, jockeying battles. But now a couple things you will notice that will be familiar and similar to our other matchups, though. We're focusing on upgrades. So I don't have my tanks out yet. I can't make any big plays yet. I don't have my stim yet. But behind this, I've got my macro going. I have my upgrades. I have my armory and my second engineering base started. I've added on additional barracks. I haven't gotten a third command center quickly, but the only reason I haven't gotten a fast third command center is because my opponent went for a very aggressive opening. So in the event that he throws out a lot of units against me, I want to make sure that I have more than enough to hold it off. So I can see his army here. I'm actually just going to try to move in on it. I'm going to scan behind um, to make sure he doesn't have any siege tanks uh, coupling it. But now I'm just going to get a good surround on his position. I have combat shield and if you guys don't know, combat shield marines actually beat stim marines one on one, which is one of the reasons why in TVT uh, a lot of players will open up combat shield um, versus stim builds. So with the medevac support, he doesn't have enough to beat me uh, in a head to head fight. So take my additional gas. And now that I've safely held off the aggression, I can go and take a third base. So at this point in a Terran versus Terran, you can look to get a little bit aggressive. Um, basically, as soon as you have tanks on the field. So I'm a bit oversaturated in my main base. I'm going to move them down to the natural and that will technically oversaturate my natural. But um, the, the idea is that I'm just going to have my um, SCVs ready to move over to a third base a bit more quickly. So I'm trying to make sure I, I'm not uh, I'm supply block for as little time as possible. But all right, now that I have got two siege tanks, that gives me enough uh, splash damage to just one shot a lot of these. Um, and he is going to be moving out with the tank, but he doesn't have any units to support it. So um, I'm feeling pretty strong right now. Uh, he doesn't have too much bio here. I'm just going to catch him at this tower. And I'm just going to push towards my opponent's base. But with all of the units that he has on the field, I need to be careful in the event that he goes for kind of counterattack. So I'm going to leave units at home. Um, I'm not going to allow myself to get caught out of position here. And if I'm going to be chasing his army, I need to be aware of what's there. So you're going to see me drop these scans. He has a Widow Mine, but that Marine baited out the shot from it. So I'm not going to take any amounts of crazy amounts of damage. Now I'm going to send another Marine out forward. It's just very, very important to know what your opponent has. You don't want to walk into any traps on accident. So I can tell just by this Marine making it all the way over here. There are no other tanks. I'm perfectly safe against any kind of um, really, really fast pressure or aggression. And now I can move in, kill the natural expansion, and I can siege my tanks below his ramp to make sure that any of his units he builds can't really support uh, against my marines so i'm going to scan for it i want to make sure there's no tanks on top of this ramp that can hurt me and then i'm just going to move in and basically be able to just uh a move my way through the rest of his forces so um <laughs> smart uh he says but um 
Huh, nice mine checking. Yeah, uh, it's very, very important to make sure that you can check against the mines of your opponent. Um, I, I don't recommend going for a planetary fortress at your third base, but if you're in a low league, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, it's very, very hard to make proper use of the economy that you have available to you. So that's uh, that's about that's about it. So.